when it comes to gardening, I don't like doing boring or predictable stuff. I like to keep it interesting. I like to mix things up. These are a few of my pots. This is my greenhouse. Well, I convert it into a greenhouse in the fall so that I can grow my vegetables in the winter. But I'm not doing that this year. This year, I'm going to still grow. As a matter of fact, I'm expecting my biggest harvest ever without using the greenhouse. Now, I'm still going to use cover, but I'm not going to use the greenhouse because there are people who think you can't grow anything in the winter without it. I'm going to grow in these. As a matter of fact, I have so many of these that I'm going to try and use 50, that's right, 50 of my pots. And as you can see, I am well on my way to reaching my goal. You don't have to have actual flower pots. Check it out. This is my Gatorade container. This I have to redo clearly. This is a milk container. This is uh, what a lot of people are um, using now are the, these uh, grow bags. And uh, back over this way is a dish pan. So right now I'm up to about 37, 38 on my way to 50 and as always I will give you guys updates keep you up on what's going on these guys here ginger is not an experiment I grow this every year this pineapple is an experiment these watermelons were left over from the summer I've been covering it with this guy here not sure what's going to happen with this but that's not my main focus my main focus are brassicas my main focus are plants like these collard greens and broccoli and uh, other leafy greens there's some spinach growing on the other side but I am focusing primarily on seeing how much cabbage and collard greens primarily I can get from out of here because they're cold weather plants. So I hope you'll grow something with me this winter. It's going to be more of a challenge because I won't have my crutch, I won't have my greenhouse, but I will show you what my plans are because sometimes in zone 6b the temperature drops down to minus 1 and minus 2 for a couple of nights which is not conducive to what I am growing so I do have a plan I'll let you in on it later but for now you guys get your pots ready get your soil ready get your seeds ready because summer is over but in the frugal garden we have endless summer. So we will continue to grow all year long. Thank you for subscribing if you have. Thank you for hitting the notification button. And please click the like button because it helps to let me know that you guys are interested in what I'm doing. This is the Frugal Gardener. And remember, when you grow your own food, you'll always know where it comes from.